Good morning. This is this is Elder West coming to you with a um, my daily word of encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you briefly, and I'm give me about maybe maybe five to seven minutes. Uh, but what I hear in my spirit is restoration. This is the exact thing what God is doing in this new year. He's restoring. He's restoring homes. He is restoring relationships. He's restoring families. He's mending hearts. If you look at it, 2017, 7 plus 1 is 8. If you notice, God created man on the sixth day. And on the seventh day, he rested. Then after God rested, the day after God rested is the beginning of a new week, which is a new week, which is the new beginning. God, in this particular season, in this particular year, God is good morning, prophet. Good morning. Good morning. And happy new year, sir. Happy new year. I get a chance. I'm going to give you a call later on if you're not too busy. Uh, but what I'm talking about is restoration, completeness. Uh, what God is doing, God is completing. God is fulfilling. God is putting us back in line. But in order for God to put us back in line, we must obey and hear his word. And so restoration, God is restoring. God is repairing relationships. He's repairing relationships. And seeing that God is repairing relationships, that means to change your approach. If your approach is not working, change it. Change your approach. Now, I want to explain something to you. Now, in the story, there was this one man. He was a man and he was going from Jerusalem to Jericho. And the Bible says, but while he was, he was on his way into into uh, into to Jericho on the Jericho road, he was met by some thieves and these thieves beat him up and they left him half dead. Now, there were three people that saw him. The priest and the Levi saw him. They looked on him. They saw him as half dead. And they kept stepping. There are many people. There are people that, that have been in your life that you that you thought that would help you. They didn't. They thought you was half dead. And so they left you alone. They left you alone because they want to deal with you. They didn't want to deal with you because they thought it was too much. It would take too much of their time. They thought it would. See, but that's okay, though. But that's okay. Now, there was this another guy. He was called a good Samaritan. But when he saw the man broken, he saw the man abused. He didn't see him half dead, but he saw him half alive. And what he did, he repaired him. He restored his soul. The Bible says that he re he poured in the oil and the wine and healed his soul. And see, the thing about it that you must understand, there is a compassion. See, he looked upon him and he was moved with compassion. See, in your heart, God is working on your heart. God is working on your heart. Completeness, completeness is being made whole. Completeness is being delivered completely. Now, there's a difference between healing and being made whole. You could be healed in certain areas, but in early areas, you're not healed in. But God is going to make you completely heal. Also, the thing that you must realize and understand, this also, God is sending balance to many of your lives. Many of your lives, you've been incomplete. You felt like you've been unfulf unfulfilled in many areas of your life. You feel like there's something that's been missing. You feel like there's something that's been out off, off and out of beat uh, with your relationship with God. And that is because things had got in between you and your relationship with God. You weren't praying like you should, like you know you should. Uh, you weren't seeking his face like you know you should. You weren't reading your Bible like you know you should. That's just like when you eat food, when you eat food, food fills you. But when you forget to eat your body, what happens, your body uh, starts to act up. You, you begin to have hunger pains and your stomach begin to growl and become moody and mooshing. So that's why. That's why you've been having so much warfare. It's because you have been getting your life of the pattern swings. You've been having spiritual moosing and you've been having and headaches and all of that. And that's the symptom. If you were to stay in order with God, then you must get the daily eye of the word. The Bible also says to the proof of God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed to rightly divide the word of truth. And so your balance.
But God is bringing balance. God is bringing balance. God is bringing things in a line that has about been out of line in your life. But in order for it to become in line, you must get in line and stay in his face. Stay in his face. And see, that's where your restoration is coming. God is going to restore back to you. But in order to restore things back to you, it's going to, he's going to use your hand. He your hand. The Bible says that if the enemy be caught, uh, he must be repaid seven times. And see, in the enemy being caught, that means you must go out. You must go out and pursue. You must go out and overtake. You must go out and take back everything that been taken for you. That means not to stand still, but that means to fight. God has given you a fight in you. There's a fight in you, and that fight is to take back what was taken from you. No longer will you just stand on the side and not do that nothing at all. This is your hour. This is your hour where things are coming together. Just like, just like, and I'm getting ready to close, the valley of dry bones. In the valley of dry bones, the bones were scattered. They were scattered. And God came to Ezekiel and took him to the valley, the valley of dry bones and asked him, can these bones live? And he, he instructed the man of God to speak to the bones. And when he spoke to the bones, the bones came together. But it wasn't done yet. They still weren't moving. Then he had them speak to the wind. And when he speak to, spoke to the wind, life came in those bones. And they became uh, an exceeding army. See, God wants you to speak to those things in your life that's out of line. God wants to speak. To those things in your relationship, in your heart, in your relationship with God, in your relationship with your spouse, in your relationship with your bishop, in your relationship with your brother and your sister. God wants you to speak those things that are out balance, that are not in balance in your life. He wants to speak those things and cause those things to come together. For there is a coming together, even in the valley of, the valley of, of dry bones. See, first of all, there came a noise. There came a noise and there came a sound. There came a shaking. And the bones came together. You've been shaken and you've been going through so much because see the pain that you are experiencing and the pain that you've been going through throughout last year. And even in this year, it's your labor pain. You are going through labor pains. What's happening is that what's in you, your promise is pushing out. Your promise is trying to come forth. That's why there's so much pain and that's why there's so much travail in your heart. There's a moaning and groaning that's going on in your spirit. See, but the thing about it, God understands your language. God understands your love language and you're crying out for God. And the Bible says that when the righteous cry, God will hear and he will deliver. And see, God heard your cry out of your moaning and your groaning. But while you've been moaning and you're groaning, God has been causing your, your miracle. And God has been causing your breakthrough to come forth. God is causing your, 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 your completeness, your life, your heart to come together. For there is a click that's taking place in your life. And that click is God's aligning your life back together. See, your life had been come out of, out, out of whack. It became out of whack. It had came out of order from a hurt. It came out of order from being rejected. It came out of order from being hit. It came out of order from something, from something financially, something emotionally coming in your life that you didn't anticipate it because you weren't on your post. Because you wouldn't get your daily diet of the word and your body was out of kilter. You weren't hearing properly. You were hearing other things. Other voices were speaking to you. Other things were pulling you to and fro. But God is speaking down in the spirit of your soul and he's causing the activation to come forth in your spirit. And he's saying to come together. He's causing your membranes. He's causing your spirit man to come in line with your soul, to come in line with your spirit. God is denying your flesh. That's why you're, you're so much pain and you're going through much pain in your flesh because God is causing you to deny your flesh because the presence of God, the Bible says that where the presence of God, the flesh cannot stand in God's presence. And so God's presence is becoming great in your life. He's becoming stronger in your life. His voice is becoming stronger in your life. And for that reason, your flesh is under attack.
It's crying out. It's crying out. It's crying out. It doesn't want to leave, but it's crying out because it's being punished. It's been it's suffering. It's going through changes. But keep keep fighting it and keep your body down. Keep that flesh down. Even Paul said he buffeted his body as, as a boxer. That when he speak to others, he himself don't become a castaway. See, God is causing your ways to line up with your words. God is causing completeness. He's causing everything in your life to become complete. See, you've been working at it. You've been hoping for it. You've been praying for it. But the day, the day, this is your new beginning. And in your new beginning, God is putting things in order. God is causing a balance to come in your life. Because the Bible said a false balance. Is an abomination. And so God is aligning you up to cause you to become balanced. Wherein you won't you won't be knocked down or you may won't be pushed to and fro. That's why you've been swayed because you didn't have balance. But the fact that God has given you his balance and his balance is his word. When troubles come and when things come in your life, when you become attacked. Because you're going to be attacked. You're going to you're going to be able to stay in because your soul is going to be even deeply anchored in God because you have balance. You have balance. So that's my thought for today is that completeness, balance and restoration. God is restoring. God is restoring everything that was lost. God is restoring everything that was broken. Just like with Nehemiah, Nehemiah, God had put it in Nehemiah's heart to repair the walls of God. And even as he was repairing the walls of God, he was under attack. The enemy came on, on many hands in many ways to make him come down from that wall. But he didn't until his purpose was fulfilled. And see, now you on that wall, you on that wall and you on that wall and God is preparing. God is preparing and God is calling you to repair those things that have been broken. God is calling you to repair that relationship, to repair even the way you think. To repair even those things that have been out of kilter in your life. And so, and as they're repairing, as they're being repaired, the structures are going to come. Sembalat and Tobiah is going to come to bring distractions. A lot of family members are going to come to bring distractions. Things out the blue going to come. That's going to talk to your heart from your past. Going to talk from 2016. It's going to come. To get you to come down, to get you to not focus, to get you to not work, to get you to not repair. But don't ignore the devil. The Bible says if you resist the devil, he will flee. He will flee. Resist that devil. And in you resisting that devil, then your purpose will be fulfilled. God is bringing balance. And also I hear God say, I hear God say, loved ones, because of your position and because of your, your faith and because of your faithfulness, there are many loved ones that you have prayed for in your heart that they change, that God bring them in, that God deliver them, that they become saved. And I come to tell you that based on your obedience and based on your faithfulness, based on your faithfulness, God will cause loved ones to come. God will cause loved ones to become healed. God will cause loved ones to be delivered based on your faithfulness. So stay faithful. Stay faithful. God is bringing it. God is. God also made a promise that if you serve the Lord with your whole heart, not only will he save you, but he will save your house. God is bringing the house in. God is bringing your house in. God is bringing your house in. So don't move. Don't move. Don't move where you are right now. Don't move. Keep stay right there. Stay in that position, that position of faith. See, because faith, the faith, faithfulness. See, faith brings faithfulness. Faith is uh, faith consistently doing the same thing, believing God for the same way over and over again, Cons consistently hearing God's word, consistently obeying God's word, consistently doing God's word. And based on your consistency, what you're doing, you're planting seeds. That's what you're doing. You are planting seeds. And in you planting seeds, there's coming a harvest. And that harvest is what's in your heart. God, the Bible says that if you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. And God is answering desires. God is answering desires. God is answering your desires. So stay, stay close and stay still and stand still and see the salvation of God. God is bringing your completeness and God is bringing balance into your life. And he's causing your life and how it looked to become restored. Restoration. Restoration is coming. Restoration is here. He that has an ear, let him hear. Amen. God bless you. And y'all have a good day.